the control plan is one of those simple elegant and concise tools that are really uh, powerful with um, having the ability to control a process. At the top of the control plan is the relevant information, uh, the process name, uh, who the customer is, the location. Uh, you might even put here uh, process owner if that's relevant. Down below you've got the process step. So we're talking here uh, about the catapult that's used in uh, Six Sigma process improvement training. So with that in mind, the, the process step is uh, launching the ball. The sub-process step would be the uh, pullback uh, launch arm. And of course the pullback, pulling back the launch arm is, uh, is a key process input. Uh, the specification is the pullback angle and the uh, specification around the pullback angle is 170 degrees to 172 degrees. Those are the li two limits, the spec limits. How do we measure that? Well, it's both visual and using a protractor that's affixed to the catapult. Sample size would be one. So we're going to do this every time we pull back the uh, pullback arm or and or launch the ball. The frequency is each launch. Uh, who might measure that? It's probably going to be the shooter. Where would it be recorded? Let's say we have a launch log that we record this in. And then the decision rule. So if it's outside the range, we want to get approval from, you know, I put here maybe the launch engineer or some other person who has the authority to basically continue the process when the input is outside of the measurement or the specification given for that particular uh, attribute or, or spec characteristic. And then finally, we've got an SOP reference here. So it might be uh, an instruction on what to do when you've got something outside of the specification range. It could be uh, a worksheet or a checklist or some other pokey yoke. Or it could be uh, a means of elevating the problem uh, higher up in the organization. Whatever that happens to be, you can actually make a reference to it here. So really, that's it. Uh, you do this, of course, for... Uh, every key process input, we also want to make sure that we do this uh, record it for the uh, key output. And in a nutshell, this provides the process owner with all of the uh, necessary controls that are required to control the process.